Oh, let's get you some wide angle. Boom, there we go. I've got to get all this mess cleaned up. When I sold the Fleetwood, I just chucked everything out. Let's take a quicker look at the woo-woo wagon. It is indeed no longer an ambulance. Gotta take that off. The graphics are okay, except for right here. And I bet you this was uh, backed into their bay and they had glass doors on the front, which is why this is so sun damaged. This is a 2002 E450. It is a 7.3 power stroke. It's got 200,000 miles on the odometer. It's got a Jasper engine on it. It's only rocking about 70K on the engine. I drove this thing over four hours to get it home. It was beautiful. Not a bit of smoke, not a nothing. Just absolutely beautiful. Tires are so-so, but it's got actual Alcola wheels, which I'm pretty excited about. Full oxygen bay for oxygen tanks. I don't know what was here. I'm gonna have to cut that tape back and see what those wires are. Cause that looks fairly fresh. I think once I get it cleaned up, you're still gonna notice that where the decals were, but that would be all right. Another big bay. I'm hoping I can find a compressor that'll fit in these bays that will the depth is what I'm worried about, but we'll see. It is a wheeled coach. Another tall bay. That's the only sign of water intrusion I've seen is in that bay right there. This bay is accessible from the inside and the outside. I need to pull those and get those batteries cleaned up. I think there's two of them in there. You know, it's clean for the age. All the grime and stuff, all, all needs to be cleaned out. Oh, charging block, nice. Hm. All the sirens work. When they did the, uh, when they disabled all the lights, they just unplugged everything out the back and it's missing a switch, which is the main lights on the side. All the other lights work. It's not showing any maps loaded on this. So I've got to do some research to figure out how to get maps for the GPS. to see where no standing ground that was the the last direction that I took
And my road was here in 2002, so maybe it needs updated. I don't know. I gotta play around with that and see if it'll, it'll work anything. Um, like I say, it's I mean it's clean, which I know a lot of them are. Something right there. I need to clean up the wiring down there. All these lights. I'll redo all them to get through. It all needs to be upgraded to LED. And for the LED, I'm not doing it for the uh, energy savings. I actually want to do it for brightness. Those lights will go off if I close the door. It's an overcast day out here. The fluorescent lights are those four right there. Exhaust fan, suction. I may actually keep the suction. I don't know what I would ever use it for. It does have AC back here, which I won't I won't be using because I will probably close this pass through off. It's not big enough for me to pass through, and I'm not going to be communicating with anybody. But if I can block that off, it will help heating and cooling that area a lot better. I'm actually probably gonna keep this seat here. It's a good place to sit and ride if I need to. Toolbox right there, and toolbox right here for my initial plans. I can actually take it all the way down to that stainless strip and cut out six inches and those cabinets will come out if need be to get the height. I don't need a workbench or anything in here. It's not necessary. But I am gonna to try to get a couple different toolboxes in here. You know, that one's accessible from the outside, as is that whole shelf. Quite a bit of storage for parts or bins or whatever I wanted to put in here. And at least starting out, I'm not going to gut all this. I'm going to keep as much of it in here as possible. Put a microwave right there. Um, this does have a 2,000 watt inverter charger in it. It does work. This is pretty much what it looks like. I just wanted to do a quick tour and show what it looks like before I start taking stuff out. It's, uh, what is today? The 21st, I think. And I would actually like to have the toolboxes put in here tomorrow. Because it's supposed to be cool. I just don't think a compressor is going to fit there, but I really think a compressor will fit in this in this box, even if I have to take that shelf out. It 
So that's where we're at. Like I say, follow along. See what I do with this when I convert it into a service truck. Watch me get out there and start repairing RVs. You guys be good and be safe and we'll catch you next time.